show the operation of an OCL30 with a wafer table for 200 mm wafers. So we would like to explain first the principal design of this optical contact angle meter. We show on the right hand side the backlighting illumination and the multiple dosing system for up to four dosing needles. There's a sample table for X and Y axis to position the wafer accordingly. Here we have the electronic box mounted on top with the optics, a CCD camera and all of this is connected to a computer system running here Windows 2000 or running Windows XP. For measuring surface energies we use typically different types of polar and non-polar liquids. Therefore, we have attached to this unit here three electronic syringes. Two are shown on the right hand side of the instrument. There is one more on the left hand side and they are connected with tubings to the dosing needles. Typically, typically those electronic syringes now are being filled with water diodomethane and ethylene glycol. In the next step we will show how to assign operating procedures to the instrument to perform a surface energy analysis and in the second stage of this movie we will also show how to dose more viscous liquids for example resins with a higher viscosity of several pascal seconds. So we will show next the procedure how to make an automatic measurement. So we are opening here a definition of uh, some macros, assigning several liquids for the measurement. Defining the syringes for the liquids. Here we can choose up to four different liquids. Also the volumes and dosing rates. And now we are going to define the different dosing positions on the wafer. Here we have a short look on a polar mapping for the wafer and now we can easily assign different positions on this wafer, even test this position and directly take over the position. Now we have completed the coordinate system, the measuring points. We will start now automatically a measurement. So we just press OK. And now the definition of the measurement will control our instrument. Sample stage and needles are moving automatically. We can position now the droplets and the measurement is performed. Next measurement point is assigned now. Okay, here we see the dosing. The droplet has been picked up. Measurement is being done automatically. So this will run now all the time until we have completed our set of coordinate measuring points. Measuring points can be set in line or on a circle 
So we have different choices for doing this. Even it is possible to position all the droplets in a complete random manner. What we also see at the moment is that we can work with uh, different liquids on a certain range on the wafer. So this will yield us some values later for the surface energy determination. Typically a measurement will take between 5 and 10 seconds, depending of course also on the dosing volume, the dosing rate, the distance between the two points, and we can also set some waiting time between the dosing and the performance of the measurement. So depending on our definition, it can be that within a few minutes we have already mapped the complete wafer. So we have no interaction by the user, so it's completely free of influence of uh, human errors. During the measurement, automatically another window has been opened. This is the surface energy calculation window. Because we have to find three liquids to use for the surface free energy determination water, diethylmethane, ethylene glycol they have been taken over in this window and the surface energy has been calculated here to be quite high about 50 millinewton per meter and here we see the typical Owens and Wendt diagram for this measurement. So as soon as the next measuring point consisting of, of several liquids another window for the surface energy determination will be opened. Meanwhile a second surface energy window has been opened. So the surface energy has been calculated. At the same time, we have also activated Excel in the background. And when we have a look in, into the Excel file, please open the Excel file. So now we see the report for the surface energy calculation on this point. Of course, more transfers of those data can be done into Excel. So the measurement will become completed very soon. Meanwhile, more windows have been opened and already transferred with the result to Excel. So we can have a look into the result windows as, at Excel and in a different tab in an Excel XLS file we see the results which can be stored easily on our hard disk. So we can click through through all the Excel data. So where we see all the results which we have collected meanwhile. So the last position will be measured now. The drops will be produced on the fly and then deposited here on the wafer. Of course different choices for